Good morning, YouTube. Geezer and the gang here. Get ready to put it on the road. We're getting a little earlier start today. We got a big day planned. I got a nasty little roll coming out of this spot here, so hang on. There we go. While we're heading out of Glen Oak, or Oak Glen RV Park, I I believe it is my favorite place we've stayed since we left. What, what do you think, Lucy? Yeah, it's pretty nice. Folks are friendly. Everything's, you know, bathrooms are clean. Sites are, Turn sites left. are for the most part kind of hilly, but we got a nice flat one. Okay, we're in uh, Chandler, Oklahoma, and we found this really neat little 1930 brick 1266 station. It's gutted, it's gone, but uh, we want to take a, a look at it. Unfortunately, there's a guy right next door running a, a pressure washer, and it doesn't seem he's going to take a break. So I'll take you for a little tour here, real quick, but. Uh, I won't be able to, to talk at all. You won't be able to hear it. I apologize for all the noise, but he's just insisting on running that machine. Stopped off at uh, Jerry McClanahan's art studio. He's also the uh, he's also the author of the uh, Easy 66 guide that we've been using fairly extensively on this trip. Um, we're hoping we were hoping to meet him uh, and possibly get his uh, autograph on on our copy of the book. It doesn't appear that he's open though, so I'll take a look and see, but it doesn't look good. Nope, it's locked. He's not here. Well, you do what you can. It's time to put it in the wind. Coming out of Wellston, Oklahoma. This is a 1933 truss bridge. Looks like it's been very nicely maintained. These old truss bridges are just kind of a treat for me. I, I like them. Uh, we'll be crossing the, the pony bridge at some point today. It's got 19 pairs of, of those trusses. And it's, it's quite a long bridge, so that's going to be pretty cool. I'm excited to get there. <laughs> We're a couple miles 
west of downtown Luther, Oklahoma. And uh, we stopped to see this uh, historical building. This used to be a gas station. And uh, it's just it's just ruins now. But uh, the legend has it that back in the day, the back part of this gas station was used for a counterfeit money operation. And you can see it's it's just really nothing anymore. It, it was probably pretty neat back in the day. Fireplace. Of course, the idiots have been in here and scratched their name on the wall. I guess that makes them feel important. It's right next to the right next to the highway, right next to Route 66. So it's not too hard to find, and it's it's kind of a neat little stop, kind of interesting. We stopped in Arcadia, Oklahoma to check out a must-see on Route 66, the Big Round Barn. Let's go take a look. Nice little model of the place. There's a lot of pictures in this barn, and we found this one. This is a picture of that gas station ruins that we were just at back in Luther. That might even be a couple of the counterfeiters. Kind of neat. There's a picture of the brown barn in, prior to 1992 when it was restored by Luke Robinson and the Over the Hill Gang. It was in pretty bad shape. They've done a real nice job of restoring it. Okay, there you have it. The Round Barn. Built in 1898 by William Oder. This is a, absolutely a must stop and see. And if you're curious, parking's just that far away. There are a few steps, but I managed them so most people could. Back on the road. And we're back on the road. Oh, but not for long. There's another stop we want to make. Pops. 700 kinds of soda pop. Let's go check it out.
Lucy sat this one out, but uh, that's a pretty wild place. I did get myself a bottle of roses, sweet rice soda. Let's see what that's all about. Well, that was Pops. 700 kinds of soda. I didn't take the time to look through all of them before I made my selection. You could be here for hours digging through everything they've got. Back on the road. Edge, are you coming up? I just took a taste of my roses, arrows con leche. And uh, it's delicious. I mean, it's really, really good. It tastes a lot like rice pudding. We're uh, passing through Oklahoma City, and uh, a lot of you is going to be surprised that we don't make any stops, including the memorial. Uh, Lucy and I have been to Oklahoma City before on uh, north-south trips, and uh, I've seen the memorial three times, Lucy's seen it twice. I do want to mention to, to anybody watching that, that hasn't been to the Oklahoma City Memorial, uh, it's very much worth seeing. It's it's just a beautiful uh, monument, and uh, it it's kind of a sad thing when you're at at the monument. If you look around at the buildings, you can still see the shrapnel marks in where chunks of the of the building uh, strafe downtown. It, it's really a, an interesting place to visit. We're on one of the oldest uh, stretches of Portland cement paved Route 66. It was built uh, after 1933, so it's not the original route, but uh, it has a lot of historical significance anyway. This is the road to the Pony Bridge, and uh, we'll be coming up on it pretty soon and uh, see if we can cross it. I I'm not real sure if we're going to be okay to cross that one or not. I will say this is one, this road is, uh, it's rough as a cop. There's a lot of a lot of asphalt patches in it, and uh, it'll rattle your teeth. Okay, we finally found the Pony Bridge. This is a highlight bridge for me, a highlight spot on the trip. Again, I don't know why, but I just really, really, really wanted to drive across this. And uh, we're okay on size, so we can go right on across it. I'm going to take it easy though, because I want to enjoy this. I think this is just really neat. pairs of these pony trusses is what holds this bridge up. There's a rumor that uh, they want to tear this old bridge down and uh, build a different style bridge that's easier to maintain across here. I just think it'd be a shame to lose this. But then there's a whole lot about Route 66 that I think is a shame. Another must stop is Lucille's right here on Route 66. It's an old Phillips 66.
Hills Roadhouse, a little ways up the road. Uh, and that's a business that was built to replace this one. This was also a special stop for me, so this is quite a treat. It's past the time that we had intended to uh, call in for the night, but we couldn't find a campground. Uh, well, I'll take that back. We found one, but it looked like a storage yard, like, you know, where we've been keeping classy all winter. Uh, much junkier, though. It's kind of find you a spot between the piles of junk to park. We decided we didn't want to do that. And, uh, we found this campground that we're going to now. But it's about 50 miles from where we wanted to be. And we're running a little long on time, so we're taking about 50 miles of interstate. I don't know what we're missing as far as the trip, but it's just one of those, you know, one of those things that happen, so. After 200 yards, you have reached your destination.